hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you a new way to eat carrots it's really better than noodles and very easy to make you can see the texture it's looking very tempting no it's really very delicious to eat so must try this simple recipe for at least once so dear friends let's see the recipe how to make it at first we have to peel off the carrots i am taking 3 carrots now wash them properly here are two and one is left i'll take it later i am cutting them into small pieces taking them into a plate and taking another one it's also done so now we have to boil them now i am putting all the pieces of carrots into the water heat is on now we have to boil them until they are cooked fully you may use pressure cooker for this process or you may steam them now they are cooked fully i am showing you here you can see that they are cooked fully now we have to take them off into a plate and cool them down fully i have taken them out as you can see now let's cool them down now they are fully cooled down now we have to mash them so i'm taking a mixer jar you may use hand blender or you may use a masher for mashing them but i'm using mixer now we have to run the mixer without any water and now it's done it's very smooth paste now i'm taking it out into a plate all is here now i'm adding salt to taste and a pinch of food color for a bright color it's orange red food color now we have to add flour I am going to use corn flour and all purpose flour at the same time. So here I have taken 1 cup of corn flour first and next to it I am going to add half cup of all purpose flour. So we have to mix everything very nicely. We have to knead it like a dough. So at first I am using the spoon and later I am going to use my hand. now i'm using my hand all the one cup of corn flour is added and now i'm going to add some all purpose flour i've taken 3/4 cup of all purpose flour and i'm going to add it little by little let's see how much flour we need we have to knead the dough very well and it's done as you can see and i used only half cup of all purpose flour now we have to make the shape of pasta actually i'm calling it pasta but really i don't know the name of it i'm shaping them this way you may shape them as you like there is no problem but try to make small shapes because small shapes will be more delicious so let's make all of the pastas like this all of them are ready as you can see they are looking very cute really they are very beautiful so let's go for the cooking process i've taken a fry pan and added a spoon of cooking oil now i'm going to add 1 teaspoon of finely chopped garlic the garlic must not have to burn so before burning we have to add water at first i'm not adding so much water because later we can add more water as we need after adding water we have to add half teaspoon of black pepper powder 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce 
टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ टोमेटो केचप वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ रेड चिली सॉस वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ ग्रीन चिली सॉस एंड नाउ वी हैव टू मिक्स एवरीथिंग नाइसली वी कैन एड मोर वाटर एज वी नीड वी हैव टू बॉइल देम फॉर ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो एड वाटर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस द वाटर इज बॉइलिंग सो नाउ वी हैव टू एड द पास्ता वन बाई वन Let's add all the pastas into the water. All of them are added. We have to stir them nicely. And now we have to cover the pan and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. Before covering the pan, I am going to add some chili flakes. Red chili flakes, of course. You may add chopped green chilies instead. There is no problem. Keep the quantity according to your requirements. After stirring nicely, we have to cover the pan and cook for 12 to 15 minutes on medium to low heat. In between, we must have to uncover the pan and check them. Now you can add more water if needed. I am stirring them properly, and actually I don't think that I need more water, so I am covering the pan again. After about 15 minutes, this is the texture. All the pastas are cooked well. And if you want a soupy texture, then add some more water and boil for about two minutes. At the end of this recipe, we'll garnish them with some spring onion and some fresh coriander, finely chopped coriander leaves. We'll mix nicely, and our carrot pasta is ready. Now, let's turn the heat off and serve them hot. You have seen guys that the recipe is very easy and it's very delicious. Believe me, it's more delicious than noodles and pasta. It's really super delicious. So try this simple recipe and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.